color wheel tool is a powerful feature that allows you to adjust the range of colors and, and the tone of those colors in your videos with precision. And in Premiere Pro, it's divided into three main sections. Shadows, mid-tones, and highlights. Which for years, I, I, I would watch videos and I would see guys talking about the adjusting the shadows, lifting the mid-tones and the highlights. And I, I never really understood, what, I kind of understood what they were talking about, but I never fully understood it. So let's clarify. What are shadows, mid-tones, and highlights? In color grading, this usually means the tonal range of your video. So when we're talking about the, the tonal range of a video, this is what they're talking about. The shadows, mid-tones, and highlights. So everything in your image that are these shades that are used to make up the look of your image. <laughs> what do I mean by that? So let's imagine for a second that your, your Sony camera is a painter. Well, I like, I shoot Sony, so I'm, I'm kind of biased with, with picking Sony. And I said to the Sony painter, hey, I'm gonna give you some black and white paint in these shades here, sh in shadows, mid-tones, and highlights. And I needed to paint an image of me using those colors. Oh, and we need a check because the painter's coming today too. Then the Sony guy, the Sony painter is going to say, okay, fine, no problem. I have to paint his shirt black. I'm going to use these shadows here. I have to paint this surfboard. I'm also going to use the shadow paint right here. Then I have to paint his skin and paint this back wall here. And those look like they're represented by some of these grays over here. And the easiest one, oh, I need to paint this picture painting right here, picture frame. I'm gonna use the highlights, which are the whites. And that's how your video camera paints the image on the sensor using the, the tonal range of shadows, mid-tones, and highlights. Now you have a better understanding where each of these are represented. Let's go into Premiere and make some adjustments. You can download the clip that I'm gonna be using in this video to follow along. So when you open up Premiere, and you go to Window, Workspaces, Color, then you come to your color wheels tab right here. This is what you would see. This wheel represents the shadows, this wheel represents the mid-tones, and this wheel represents the highlight. If you want to change the colors in the shadows, you're going to click right here. You see this puck, and you're going to move it in the direction if you want to add green to the shadows, or if you want to add magenta or pink to your shadows. And it's the same thing for every other tone in, in Premiere Pro. If you want to darken your, your shadows, you pull down on these sliders right here. Or if you want to brighten your shadows, you lift up these sliders right here. Depending on how you have Premiere set up, when you open it up, your screen might look like this. Screen maximized, that's why it looks this way. So, right, so now that we're inside of Premiere, pull down on these sliders right here. It's going to darken your shadows. And if you lift it up, it's going to brighten your shadows. So, I want to pull down the shadows a bit maybe lift up my highlights and remember as I was saying highlights are going to be everything in the image that are represented by these shades right here so let's go back to Premiere Pro yeah and then I'm, I'm going to pull down my mid-tones a bit so now here here's the beauty in the power of the color wheels looking at my image here it looks like it has a blue overcast or a blue color cast based on experience Right away, it's telling me that the image wasn't color balanced properly. So I'm going to go into the mid-tones of the color wheels and I'm going to say, hmm, there's a lot of blue in the mid-tones. For me to balance this off, I need to add some orange because orange sits opposite of blue on the color wheel. Now, if there is too much blue in your image, that means there's not enough orange and that makes that makes the image off balance it's more it's more leaning this way go back into premiere and then now let's show, let me show you make that move up to orange corrected that that blue color cast so we went from that to this now i'm going to add an adjustment layer and we're going to create a, a very popular hollywood look they call orange and teal orange and teal are complementary colors what I mean by complementary colors, orange is orange is somewhere over here in this range, and teal is somewhere over here in this range. They complement each other because they sit on opposite ends of the color wheel. And it goes for the same thing like green, complements, magenta, pink, and that's how you can create complementary color schemes. So let's go back into Premiere and we're gonna create the Hollywood look called orange and teal. So I'm gonna go to my shadows put some teals in the shadows go to the mid-tones 
put some orange in the mid-tones. I'm gonna lift it up a bit. Mm. Those two quick moves right away, we created an orange and tea look. Now, you'll have to play with it a bit more to fine tune it how you want, but that's how you can create orange and tea looks with using the color wheels in Premiere Pro for free. You don't have to buy any lots or anything like that. You can do it yourself. Let me know in the comments if the video was clear or confusing. Thanks for watching.